mainly today uh, we are going to be discussed about uh, two topics right one is basic propagation mechanisms and uh, another topic is uh, space wave and surface waves right yeah uh, just uh, primarily uh, we are going to be discussed about the basic propagation mechanisms yeah the basic pro uh, propagation mechanisms we, i mean uh, what are these particular basic propagation mechanisms right the propagation mechanisms which can reduce the strength of the signal i mean uh, when the transmitter transmit the signal uh, that particular signal uh, will travel in channel right in the channel um, uh, particularly we have three basic propagation mechanisms which can reduce the signal strength right those are one is reflection second is diffraction third is scattering right yeah first uh, we want to go to the uh, reflection right when the, uh, the reflection occurs when the wave impinges on the surface which has a large dimensions compared to signal yeah see here uh, I mean, uh, what do you mean by impinges, right? Impinges is, is nothing but uh, when the wave is obstructing on the surface, right? See here, uh, simple uh, example, uh, think uh, such as, I will give an example, right? Uh, consider it is a transmitter, right? And consider it is a uh, receiver, right? When the transmitter transmits the signal into the channel, automatically, yeah, it is a signal, right? Uh, consider uh, it is one of the building here i mean uh, we have a building right i mean third particular building supposed to have a large walls right i mean the size of the signals is very tiny uh, like uh, mm range i mean mm means millimeter range right i mean the size of the signal is uh, considered as millimeter i mean very tiny right automatically the size of these particular walls or trees or hills are quite large dimensions compared to the signal because the signal is very tiny millimeter size but the walls are very heavy size right automatically when that particular signal is quite obstructed to these heavy dimensions such as walls or hills or etc right automatically there is a loss of signal and uh, this particular signal is obstructed to the wall and it goes to the receiver or this particular signal is obstructed to tree and it goes to the a receiver right automatically the dimensions of the tree or wall or the building are quite uh, um, large comparing to signal uh, size right automatically we can consider uh, this particular mechanism of reflection by this uh, mechanism uh, because the signal is obstructing on the wall automatically uh, because of the obstruction the signal strength is quite in loss right automatically uh, we can say it as a reflection reflection occurs when the uh, wave impinges on the surface which has large dimensions compared to the signal or wavelength example surface of the earth yeah surface of the earth right and also buildings walls etc next diffraction right diffraction occurs when the radio path between transmitter and receiver is obstructed by an object which has sharp irregularities see here consider uh, a transmitter again consider a receiver again uh, consider it is a hill a sharp hill right just these particular transmitter transmit the signals and it goes and it obstructed on the sharp edge of the hill right here the signal is obstructed on the sharp edge of the hill automatically when this particular signal is obstructed to the particular sharp edge automatically there is a vast i mean the signal is quite splitted the signal is quite uh, splitted and a small part of splitted signal is goes to a receiver automatically see here this is quite reflected but this is quite diffracted automatically the signal is quite heavily splitted here right i mean there is a heavy loss of signal strength right there is a huge loss of signal strength right when the signal uh, is quite losing uh, in uh, like this scenario when it uh, obstructing the sharp edge it is called as diffraction Right? don't be quite confused diffraction occurs when the radio path between transmitter and uh, receiver is obstructed by an object which has sharp irregularities example edges right yeah next scattering it occurs when the channel has objects which are smaller are comparable to the wavelength see here again 
uh, when we go to the particular uh, scattering consider it as transmitter and consider it as a uh, receiver right consider uh, the uh, rain is falling here right i mean not rain uh, consider it as a drizzles right i mean starting uh, scenario of the rain uh, such as drizzles right i mean a small uh, droplets right automatically when the signal is obstructing that particular droplet not droplets right droplet or droplets right automatically when the signal is i mean the size of the signal is quite a uh, millimeter and also size of the that particular droplet is also approximately a millimeter or else uh, you can consider it as fog droplets also snow droplets right dust particles automatically they are tiny in size when the particular signal is obstructed to that particular things our uh, droplets or uh, such as a uh, fog droplets or snow droplets or uh, dust particles there is a quite uh, drastic um, i mean uh, loss of uh, signal strength right automatically this particular scenario we can call it as scattering it occurs when the channel as objects which are smaller are comparable to the wavelength which are smaller are comparable i mean same comparable means right example water droplets i mean uh, rain droplets sorry rain droplets fog snow dust particles etc right next uh, we are going to discuss something about space uh, waves and surface waves right uh, first we will go for the space wave space wave right and this particular uh, space wave we have an expression also right e space is equals to uh, j 30 beta i uh, d l cos psi uh, e minus j beta r1 by r1 rv e minus j beta r2 by r2 see here uh, quite simple right we have a transmitter right and also we have a receiver right see uh, one of the signal is transmitting from transmitted uh, receiver in the direct path right one of the signal is transmitting it is quite reflected from the troposphere right i mean consider this uh, the direct path signal as r1 and consider this uh, reflected uh, signal as r2 right i mean uh, e minus j beta r1 is nothing but phase factor of r1 i mean signal r1 e minus j beta r2 is the phase factor of r2 right i mean uh, we have two signals here r1 and r2 right yeah consider it as phase factor of r1 consider it as phase factor of r2 right and also see here as r2 is a i mean as r2 is reflected from troposphere as yes, r2 is uh, reflected from troposphere when the r2 is reflected from troposphere there is quite a differ in the magnitude and phase right yeah uh, because there is i mean when is uh, uh, reflected automatically there is uh, quite uh, signal loss is happened right i mean see, signal strength is quite decreased right automatically there is some uh, uh, difference in phase and magnitude right after reflection right i mean uh, we can call it as there is a i mean the phase and uh, the magnitude uh, the magnitude is quite modified right yes that particular modified version we can uh, uh, notice it as rv i mean uh, the modified version is only to the r2 itself because it quite reflected that's what we have associated rv to r2 itself right yeah next rv is nothing but uh, you people know modified factor of r2 and psi is nothing but magnitude of r2 right okay next uh, we'll go for something called uh, surface waves right see here Surface waves are the uh, principal waves used in AM, FM and TV broadcast, right? Objects such as buildings, hills, uh, ground connectivity, etc. Simple here, see. Uh, here, uh, surface waves will be quite uh, reflected, right? Automatically, those are quite, uh, I mean, uh, heavily reflected from buildings or hills or ground connectivities right automatically we have a equation here again right now uh, simple equation as such as what we see in here in uh, space waves right same see here here we have taken only one signal because it is surface wave it is quite a reflected signal right see here automatically only we have taken r here Th that's what we take in e 
power uh, j beta r e power j beta r is nothing but phase factor of r okay phase factor of r here uh, it is quite a reflected right automatically there is uh, some difference in phase and magnitude right i mean uh, the phase and magnitude is quite um, again it is quite modified right yes this modification factor we can consider it as rv then and we have something called here psi also right psi is nothing but magnitude of r and we have something called uh, uh, c here k and also r right these particular k and these particular uh, uh, r we can consider it as unit vectors of wave right and we can consider this f as attenuation factor right because after reflection there is uh, some noise is added because of the signal strength is quite reduced particularly uh, some attenuation is uh, occurred there right unwanted noise is uh, occurred automatically we can call it as uh, unwanted noise as attenuation factor right yeah that's it thank you